Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Magic Duels. So, last couple of episodes we haven't really moved up. I think we lost to Terra Nullis. Okay. And don't put me in a game that is full, please. Thank you. We lost to Terra Nullis. It was Dark Cleric. It was Dark Cleric 2. Terra Nullis was the game we beat. Dark Cleric 2 we lost to. Then we played KMC Kriya 31 and pulled a win out of our ass with Tragic Arrogance right before Lethal and brought back their guys to get there, and then got completely crushed seconds later by Havelock, so... Hopefully we can beat Felipe Costa 85. Felipe Costa. Well, Felipe... I hope you can do something about this. It, it could be worse. I know I'm playing real slow here. Check lands with no basics kind of hurts. But... We can render this into Land Harbor, and seeing a basic mix is real happy. Maybe we'll just see a basic next turn. Doesn't matter which kind. Actually, a forest will make us a little sad. Because then neither of these will come into play to uh, untapped after. Also, it means half of our niece's forests are gone, but... Got the tragic arrogance, so if we need to, we can pull a win out of our ass again. <laughs> um, Perilous Mirror is here. He seems like a decent turn to to try and shut down that cleric. Red light cleric in the forward, forward order? Seems strange. Cleric of forward order is not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a strange choice. Um, I guess that way, so at least planes gets us both of our things. And then I think next turn, yeah, we play the perilous meter to try and shut down the aggro a bit. Although, maybe we play Nisa to grab the forest. Just so we can play untapped. I should probably be running my white lands out to get Tragic Arrogance going. Oh god, another constant lieutenant. That's gonna get chumped and traded with Perilous Mirror. Okay, I'll take my two from Cleric. That's not gonna not happen. You can just push the button. You're having connection problems. There we go. Thank you. All right. Abbot of Carol Keep. Probably not what I want. So let's run that out. We'll run that out. To deal with the consul's lieutenant. That should just shut down his combat, I think. He could attack with both, and I will take two and trade with Constant Lieutenant, but I think he'll shut down combat. If he's going to attack with anything, he attacks with everything. He's not going to attack with just one. Because if he attacks with just one, he loses the Lieutenant. Hmm. And then next turn... I think we play Telling Time to try and hit a basic land drop. And if we fail, we can play the Glacial Fortress. If we succeed, we can probably play Telling Time again. We're going to wait on Airbit of Carol Keep for a while, though. He's he's mostly a, a functionally better Elvish Visionary, is what we're going for here. Yeah, this is my ideal scenario right here. Because I take that block, and then I shoot the Consul's Lieutenant in the back. I don't know if he just didn't notice that I could hit a separate creature, or that I could hit a creature at all, or what. I'm sure he had to have seen it. But, uh, that was probably, like, that was my ideal combat, so I don't know why he went with that. Alright, let's make our telling time, because we've got three of the goddamn things. Let's see what lands we can get. No lands! Well, Perilous Mirror seems like a good idea, and so does Perilous Mirror. And we'll play our bad land and take two. He's not playing any more guys, so maybe we can just stall him out with Perilous Mirror for a bit. It's kind of sketchy, but if we do see a land, we do have Tragic Arrogance ready, so we can pull ourselves out of the Jaws of Defeat. He's going to get his land out of his Knight. Knight a rare? It is, okay. 
thought that I would probably run it, but I was wondering why I don't have one. Okay. Yep, seems good. Seems pretty good. So we're gonna take six all of a sudden. So I think we run out both mirrors here instead of playing Telling Time to try and get the land. It just seems... Because we're not drawing a land, we're drawing a Perilous Mirror, so... I think we just have to play both Perilous Mirrors to try and make the trade. We, well, we will trade one for Knight, because it has to punch with the enchantment. And at that point, we're pretty solid. Alright. Could have seen the argument to cast Abbott and see what we get. But I don't think I could cast Abbott and leave up. Oh, I could have left up both white and black then. Because mm. then if it was Removal or Reprisal, I could kill one of the guys. Abbott doesn't trade with that like Perilous Mirror does though, so I think this is the better play. And we'll wait on Abbott until we can make sure we can get as much value out of it as we can. Which might be next turn. Um, I can always use Telling Time to set up Abbott too. That's, that's always the thing I can do, is telling time first and then into Abbott. Okay, that's gonna make the trade worse, but... It's still possible? I have to use both Perilous Mirrors to trade with the 5-4. But that doesn't seem like a terrible idea here. And I'll just shock the cleric and it should die at the end of the turn when the end of turn effects were off but that might be all the same steps so we'll see one you one you boom boom I take my damage end of turn clean up step ah shoot I did need to put them both on that because it has first strike. Well then. Let's telling time and see what Abbott will give us. But I think we have to play Abbott just so we're not dead. Mark Clipper seems really good. We'll leave Angel on top. And we won't play. Ah, oh, I should have left the land on top. It's telling time. Take Angel, leave Frostlinks. And next turn. Oh no, I'm dead, aren't I? Shoot, I screwed that up. I needed to play Abbott the first turn. Instead of telling time. I need to not play land, and then not be so worried that I was exiling my angel to not lose the game. So that was a bunch of misplays all at one turn, so that was that was my bad. Mistakes were made. Many of them. I just swing for lethal. Shoot. The mistakes. I made them all. I mean, seeing nothing but check lands hurt, but that's the way my mana base is set, so I can't really do a whole lot about it. Yeah, you win. You got there, buddy. I screwed up. Should have played a blocker. I might have been able to pull it back if I played a blocker, but he still has some stuff, so he could he could probably still pull it out. I don't know if I could have come back really fully after the arrogance. So we're just gonna have to go on the assumption that I wouldn't have and feel a little better about misplaying into a loss. But we'll try against somebody else. Uh, we've fallen down to out of vampire ranks. So that that kinda hurts. Let's try and get back in there. I like to stay around 5, because it changes my icon, so it makes me feel like I've made real progress. Black, red? Black, red, white? That's a planes art, definitely. Might be Jund, but could be Mardu. He might just be red, white. He might just be red, green. He might be black, white, black, green. He might fail to join the match and get replaced by a bot. Sklinch. 96. 
He's on the play. We've got two bad lands into maybe playing the game. Oh, it could get worse. It could definitely get worse. Oh, jeez. He's very aggressive. Okay. I would love to see a basic, I think, is what I need. Forest would probably be ideal, but... Uh, frig. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna have to do. Abbott's not working out so great. I mean, last game, it was my fault, not the Abbott's fault. This game is looking pretty useless. Alright, come in me. That came out, like, all kinds of wrong, and I just stopped to play it back in my head. I meant to say come into me, but even that doesn't sound that great. Come at me sounds a little better, but, well, whatever. Like that. Take two more. Then we can play the Gatekeeper Vine, which can't block, but it will guarantee a bin uh, tap the land, which will probably grab the white. Oh god, over the Knight's Road. But that dies to a reprisal after it hits me for three. I'd rather not take the but it looks like we're playing bad mana base again, so okay, we can Nisa to get a forest trade. Yeah, this isn't great, but I think this is what we have to do here. Nisa trades with the knight, hopefully. We take two more. Then he'll play more guys. And we can Gate Creeper and Jace. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he has something here. Yeah. I don't know why he wouldn't have done that pre-combat to guarantee he gets renowned, but if you want to play bad, you can play bad. So creeper for probably white or red. Let's get red just so we can play the Abbot. We'll play Jace in the hopes that we can flip the Jace. And we're going to chump the 3-2 again. I don't think Jace is going to be able to flip though. Okay, bring back a f Nisa. Which gets us the other forest. Oh, flipper though. Gonna keep you from uh, getting your renown, although it does keep me from reprisaling you, so maybe it's not a great play. Sure, Razor Griffin, more good guys. Alright, what do we got? Twin Bolt, huh? Definitely want my red source. I think I want to twin bolt the griffin. And play frost links on the 3 2. Yeah, frost links the 3 2. Oh, I should have frost links the 2 2. Trade with the 3 2. Twin bolt at the 2 2. Resurrect to the 2 2. Pass the turn. That was a mistake. I should have frost links the other thing. Jason not attack. Uh, I should probably twin bolt this now, actually. While he's tabbed down. And since I'm not going to block with Jason, I'm going to just do this now. Uh, we're going to pitch the red, because we don't need more red sources. And this way, with Jason on tap, so it'll flip. We can get the twin bolt back to deal with that. I definitely should have tapped that and traded there. That was my mistake. Oh, that is way better. Two necromantic summons. Shoot. Can't block it because it's got menace. Yeah. So watch your damage effects and locking me into that. Alright, one misplay after another. Let's chase now. 
We'll get rid of the black, I think. Do I have black already? I'm gonna get rid of black over here. Okay, I have two. Okay. Whew. Alright. I need to twin bowl. Pass this card. You, you. Doesn't really matter how. Dying to my flicker. I need to skip the attack step. Yes. Let's see how he attacks. So now I've put some options in front of him. He can menace into Jace, and I have to do a block, which means he trades for Frost Links. Nimbus Wings means it's definitely reprisable, and he can now punch Jace. Well, he, he doesn't get his renown if he doesn't if he punches Jace. He's menacing me. Okay, so that's how he's gonna do it. I'm gonna give up Jace to walk like this. Jace is going to go, that's going to happen, that's okay. That's okay. I can Reprisal, and if I see a land, I can also Necromantic Summons. Otherwise, I have to Reprisal, so we'll probably ab it and see what happens. Let's see. Land, that's what we needed. Reprisal, that night. Necromantic Summons, I didn't really want either of my walkers as much as I actually do. I want to hit your double striker. And yeah, should we take one? We might have some haste things. Oh, I didn't have the counters? Shoot. I thought I had counters. I should have taken a walker then. My mistake. More mistakes were made because I didn't read the card. I think some small encoding problems, but they look fine. I don't know, maybe there was a bit of a stutter there. Alright. You've got the 2-2. Two -two. Let's add it and see what we hit. We've got to try him sometime, right? Maybe the exile. Telling time. I want to... Play telling time. Thank you. Okay, I want Angel. I want Angel like nobody's business. And I kind of want to take Isolated Chapel because it lets me hit both my mythics. Like Angel. I'm going to draw that Chapel. Instead of getting Lifeline. I'm going to play my Chapel. It won't come in untapped. But it's important that I get it now. Uh, and I'm going to skip my attack step. My 1-1 one, one trades for his 2-2. Two, two. It should be a 1-3, but I'm an idiot. Okay. Flinkin's not bad, but it's not great. The prowess on the Abbot is still pretty good here. Oh, I don't have triple white? Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright, let's just end the turn, I think. Attacking is not profitable anywhere, but blocking is super profitable. So we'll make him come to us. What do you got? That's what I thought. White blocks white in the air, red blocks right on the ground. You're in sad places. Don't use my red sources. Come on. Don't use my red sources. You're going to use both my red sources, are you? There, that's not using one. So that's, that's, Oh, I don't even have five up. I'm an idiot. I can't count. Wasting time. Skip attack. I won't do it. Alright. He's going to reprise all that. That's fine. It's legit. As soon as I see... A third white source and can angel. And let's see where the rest of this is gonna go. 
Alright, Tragic Arrogance is pretty good right now. But I kind of want him to run into it, so let's see if I can get him to play into it a little more. Because I can just play out of Tragic Arrogance right now. This first striker is keeping my Merc Lurker down a little bit. I can't just bump, pump something for lifelink and swing it. Reprisal's a reprisal. Say we wait. Our blocks are profitable. If he plays something, if he does anything to make them unprofitable, I have a reprisal now, so. We've got all the answers in our hand, and the game's just going nowhere with them. Alright, let's suppression bonds that. And now we can attack with everything. We can lifelink twice. Alright, let's lifelink there because it's two. And the lifelink there because it's three. He can make his profitable trades, that's fine. I've got tragic arrogance, so I'm willing to just let him build up a board while I build up a life total here. If he wants to swing back for two, he can, I'll swing back for more. But I have complete control of the board right now, so... It seems like we're in a pretty good position. Yeah, you can swing for two, that's okay. I think I leave the Merc Lurker back up, though, now. And just keep coming in in the air. And we'll see where we go. Alright, draw island, sure. I think it. Combat. Attack. If we get Necromantic Summons again, I think we just take a Walker. Go for Broke, see if we can't get uh, Jace to go off. And start giving us back cards. Nisa would give us crazy advantage too. Maybe let us fair triple white for the Angel. Alright, on tap, here we go. Swap. Let's lifelink that. Combat. Confirm. Boom, he takes his damage. He's gonna watch his damage effects. So nobody turns those off for some reason. And, oh my god, stop watching damage effects. Thank you. Okay. Alright. We're a whole hand deeper than him, which means he's more likely to brick and hit a land. But that's definitely not a land. I don't think. He might be holding it. It's definitely something here. So I say we make a profitable block. Confirm. We lifelink. It's Titan Strengthening. Okay, I, I got it. Stop the timer. Uh, continue. Which is a scrying, we're gonna reprise all this creature. And there we go. Now he's at a combat trick for our combat trick. And yeah, we took two damage, but that was gonna happen. He can tighten trigger since like this. We can lifelink it. Lifelink it. We can lifelink it. Could tragic arrogance here. Just to completely like shut him down, but he's scooped. Good game. Now we just have to kill Sklink Sklinch. 96 is AI. Almost lethal here. 
Bang, he can have his 2-1 back. And all I need is... Oh, need this one. Hello. Alright, let's play that. Let's play Angel. And I think next turn we Tragic Arrogance for the win. I guess I could have attacked with my Merclicker and given it lifelink to get two more life, but I don't think I need it at 24. That was the land. And tap. Play the wilds. Don't crack it though. Arrogance. Uh, I'm gonna... Damn it, okay. Just enchantment. I'm gonna keep my enchantment. You're gonna keep your enchantment. I'm gonna keep my creature. You're gonna keep your creature. Wanted to give me self lifelink, but it couldn't. Give me self lifelink. Now we're in with the Irish nonsense. And boom, lethal. Took a little while, but we did get there, so we have stabilized back into vampire rank, I guess. Instead of blue mage rank. Back up. Well, we haven't made progress per se, but we haven't fallen completely behind, so. Nice to see that. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. If you liked the video, press the like button for your support, that helps a whole lot. And uh, if you want to see more from the channel, press the subscribe button and you'll see every new video. I got three a day. Might as well watch them all, right? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.